Lucas? Yes, you remember I, I told you about Luke. Well, he goes by Lucas now. I mean, can you believe this? I don't know. Mitch Blake. Hello. I've heard a lot about you. Lucas just got back into town. Um, it's quite a coincidence, isn't it? It's quite a coincidence. Yeah, um, he actually picked me up when I was released from prison. And how was that? Guess I was in the right place at the right time. Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, it's been an unbelievable day. Obviously. Where have you been? Well, I didn't think that you'd be home yet, and, and Lucas showed up. Well, there was a lot of things that we had to talk about. There still is. I, it was such a shock. As you can imagine when I saw him. I thought you were released this morning. Where have you been? Chicago. Oh, Chicago, really? A place called Gold Street. Has Felicia told you about it? Yes, I have. Oh, I didn't know your husband knew everything. He does. And he understands. That's wonderful. I don't mean to be rude here. But if you don't mind, I'd like to spend some time with my wife alone. I won't stay long. Lucas, we can talk again. Not going anyplace, Fanny. Luke. Wait a minute. I don't like the sound of this. Well, get used to it. Talking about who do you think you are? I'm not going anywhere until I get the answers I came for. Is that understood? Hello? Michael? Victoria? She must have taken him out for frozen yogurt. It's all right. I'm not sure I'm up for seeing anyone right now anyway. It'll give us a few extra minutes to talk alone. We talked in the car, Donna. I talked. You stared out the window. Well, I have nothing to say. Obviously, you and Cass aren't getting anywhere. Do you understand, Donna? Understand what? Why I did what I did. I know you were defending yourself. I know it was an accident. Someone has to understand. I couldn't tell anyone. I didn't just sit silent. I tried to say the words. I just couldn't. Nicole, no one is perfect, especially Cass Winthrop. I've hurt Cass so much. I don't care about Cass. The person you need to be concerned about right now is yourself. I don't think he'll ever forgive me. Let's not talk about that right now. He can't even look at me. Nicole, you have a lot of work ahead of you. You have to put your life back in order. Now, you've done it before, and you'll do it again. But you've got to stop worrying about Cass. He's a big boy. He can take care of himself. He always has. I am not giving up on him. Nicole. I mean it, Donna. He loved me as much as I still love him. Cass is the best thing that ever happened to me. I'm not going to let him just walk out of my life. Hey, Stacey. You're going to be so happy with what I'm about to do. What's up? I have to go change. Oh, gee, Stacey, that's great. No, I have to go change because I have a date. Oh, 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 oh. A date? Yeah. No, tell me truly, with what? <laughs> Watch it, Buster. You mean a, a bona fide date with chocolates and flowers and a discreet kiss on the cheek good night yes, and all that? Yeah? Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's come over you. You're not feeling well. Oh, right, huh? why do I put up with you? Because I'm your brother and you have no choice. <sighs> I thought there was a reason for that. So who's the lucky fellow? It's a doctor friend of Jamie's. Oh, a doctor. Mm-hmm. My brother-in-law, the doctor. Huh? It's just a date. Nothing more, all right? Well, I'm sure you'll have a great time. Yes? Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? Nicole was here. Uh, apparently the arraignment went pretty well. Yeah, well, I talked to Zach and he said that uh, he didn't think this self-defense strategy was going to be that strong. Mainly because Nicole withheld evidence. Oh. He's trying to keep up before. Well, that's good. He should. She, um... She's still here? No. I think she's going to move in with Donna and Michael for a while. Well, that's probably a good idea. I had my bags all packed and was ready to move to a hotel myself when You're she arrived here. You're not going to do that here. now. I don't know if I can stay here, Stace. Hey, I'll be around. And so will all of Nicole's stuff. I... I don't sleep very well in our bed since everything happened. 
Listen, I didn't mean to come in babbling on about this stupid date. I know you're upset and I shouldn't have done Forget that. Forget about it. It's okay. Hey, Cass? Yeah. What else did Nicole have to say? She thinks the whole thing is going to blow over. That I'm going to forgive her and we'll take up where we left off. Can you forgive her? Every time I look at her, I recall about a dozen things that she's said or done in the past couple of months. And I realize it was all a lie. But she wasn't lying when she said that she loved you. But what kind of love is it? I feel I don't even know her anymore. I can't be in the same room with the woman I was going to marry. She keeps asking me if, I, if I'll understand. I, I can't. Maybe someday you will. Am I being too hard on her? Look, everybody has to come to terms with what she did. But you more than any of us. Ain't that the truth? Do you think that someday you could forgive her? Oh, I don't know. Maybe someday. Does she know that? No. Maybe you should tell her. I may be able to forgive her. But I won't ever love her again. That much I know. Yes. Sorry. When I was sick the other day, and I thought I saw Kathleen... Yeah? so real to me. I, when I woke up, I thought, I thought that she was going to be sitting there. And I thought she was going to be telling me to get my act together and get the hell out of bed, you know? Mm. What was it like, though? It was like she'd never left. I wanted to put my arms around her and never let her go. It was as if Nicole had never been a part of my life. You were very sick, Cass. I shouldn't have let Nicole be a part of my life. I won't again. Honey, you've got to let go. Kathleen says I have to love again. You will. I don't know if I can. You will. Believe it or not, Cass, there is somebody out there for you. Yeah. There is. If I don't get ready, I may miss my only chance. That one person out there for me since I've been in Bay well, City. Well, we can't have that, so no. you better go change. If you need anything, you ever want to talk, anything at all. I know, all. Stace. I know. Now, come on, get out of here. <laughs> the last thing I want is to have to entertain this clown while you fix your hair. <laughs> <laughs>